So in this lecture segment, we're going to talk a little bit more about conservative vector fields. So to quickly review what we've already talked about, the fundamental theorem of line integrals states that um, the line integral over C of gradient f dot dr equals f of b minus f of a, analogous to the fundamental theorem of calculus, except instead of integrating dg dx, dx, or the derivative of a function of x, you're integrating the gradient, which is a form of derivatives. And we used that, the fundamental theorem of line integrals, to prove that a vector is conservative if and only if the line integral over C of f dot dr equals zero for all closed curves C. Well, this second fact, um, the second fact gives us a, okay, gives us a criterion for when a vector field is conservative but it's not a very useful tool for actually checking whether or not a vector field is conservative because it's not practical or possible to integrate the vector field over every possible closed curve C. So what we need is a more practical way for determining, determining whether a vector field is conservative. All right, so to that end, okay, Given f equals pq, a differentiable vector field on a domain d in R2. And fact, if, oops, let's go a little darker here. If, um, hold on, why did my screen suddenly become small? Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if F is conservative, then partial P partial Y equals partial Q partial X. Okay. Okay, all right, so why is this fact true? Well, if F is conservative, um, then vector field F equals gradient little f. So that means PQ equals partial f partial x partial f partial y or p equals partial f partial x and q equals partial f partial y well if we take the derivative of both of these equations so Let's take the derivative of the first equation with respect to y. Let's take the derivative of p with respect to y. So then that gives us that partial p, partial p, partial y equals um, the second derivative of partial, the derivative of partial f, partial x with with respect to y, so fxy there. And then if we take the derivative of the second equation, if we take the derivative of q with respect to x, well then we're going to get uh, partial q partial x equals fyx, the derivative with respect to x of partial f partial y. Well, f is a real valued function on the domain d in R2, and the second order mixed partial derivatives 
exist and are continuous on D. Well, if that's the case, then by Clara, and I already said that F is a differentiable vector field, so the derivatives of P and Q must exist and be continuous. So then by Clairaut's theorem, fxy must equal fyx, and therefore partial p partial y equals partial q partial x. So this gives us another useful test for when a vector field is not conservative. Okay, so let's do an example. So, all right, example. Um, is vector field uh, x squared cosine y x plus y cubed, which is p q or um, conservative. Now remember, we're asking, when we ask that, we're asking, does partial P partial Y equal partial Q partial X? So partial P partial Y is the derivative with respect to Y, oops, sorry, the partial derivative with respect to Y of X plus Y Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. The partial derivative with respect to y of p, let's get this right, of x squared cosine y, which equals uh, x squared negative sine y, so just negative x squared sine y. Well, you can already see these are not going to be equal. dq dx is the derivative with respect to x, of x plus y cubed, which equals one, because it's gonna be one plus zero, so one. And obviously these are not equal. So therefore, f is not conservative. So now the question is, now the question is, we asked before, um, if F is conservative, then, or we sh or rather I showed before, if F is conservative, then partial P partial Y equals partial Q partial X. Now the question is, is the converse of that also true? Um, so, um, is it true that if F equals PQ and partial P partial Y equals partial Q partial X, F is a conservative vector field. So, oops, uh, vector field F equals gradient F. So 
is that true? Well, in order to um, answer that, first I have to give a definition. Okay, so definition. Um, a domain D in R2 is simply connected this is going to be a very loose definition but it's all you need for the purposes of this class and what we're going to do so is simply connected what's going on here okay Um, again, simply uh, a basic definition, if it contains no holes. Okay, so for example, Okay, so let's say that over here, this is my domain D. So this would be simply connected. And of course, logically, this is not simply connected if there is a hole there. Okay, um, I'm also going to define one more term, which is open. Um, and um, open, a, do, a, a domain is open if it does not contain any of its boundary points. The domain does not contain any of its boundary points. Another way to say that is um, for every point P in the domain, there exists a disk entirely in the domain with its center point P. Okay, um, so back to uh, what we're trying to figure out. Is it true that if partial P, partial Y equals partial Q, partial X for some vector field PQ, then that vector field must be considered. Okay, so theorem. If F equals P Q is a vector field on an open, simply, con simply connected domain D, And P and Q have continuous, well-defined, first-order partial derivatives. And partial P, partial Y equals partial Q, partial X, then F is conservative.
Okay, so you see there are three conditions here or three things you need to state to prove that your vector field is conservative. Number one, your domain is open and simply connected. Number two, the first order partial derivatives of P and Q are continuous and well-defined. And number three, partial P partial Y equals partial Q partial X. Then you can prove that the function is conservative. I'm not gonna prove this right now. We need um, to get into the next section to have enough information to prove this. But this gives a um, really useful way for proving F is conservative.